Hello everybody and welcome to another episode oh, of Mixed Mowers. I've got my little Riley boy here yeah. with me today and we're going to do a live stream today but I want to get on and try and have a look at one of his lawnmowers that's just come in. Um, it belonged to a very good friend of mine called Jeb and um, he's a gamekeeper in my local area who I do a little bit of shooting for and just love spending Ooh, time with. Uh, pardon? Ooh, really? He rang me earlier on, yes. What's that? Um, said what a good job he did yesterday. Um, so, he gave me a lawnmower. Um, the reason is he, he cuts grass on the side, uh, bits and pieces, and also we cut grass down and shoot as well. He's got this Champion Premier lawnmower. He said um, he can only get it to run with spraying some kind of fuel or carb cleaner down the, down the throat of a carburetor. Apart from that, he just cannot get it to work at all. So he said, if you want it, Mick, you can have it. He's applied me with a box as well with a lawnmower. I don't think the box is quite right for it. I might have to do a bit of adjustment or change the back flap, but my first initial concern is to try and see if this lawnmower will actually run or not on its own. It's a power drive um, lawnmower with a overhead valve um, Honda Wannabe engine on top. So without further ado, let's get down and let's get dirty and let's see if we can't get this lawnmower to run. Right, so let's get my little Riley boy to pump the old um, table up. It'll probably, it'll probably take me about three years to do it. Do you want a hand? Let me see. It will work. Let's give it a couple of pumps, buddy. There it goes. You want to help me in? Put your foot on there, then. Give me a hand. Well, I don't need help because I was going to be all, all Christmas. And it's nearly Christmas, too. So we get this machine up in the air and um, get it secure. And then we'll have a look to see what we can't do to get it running. I'm suspecting a carburetor issue because it is actually um, running. Um, when you spray some stuff down it, however, it, it just won't idle on its own. So, I'll do some visual checks on it first, just to make sure it is actually a good lawnmower and everything inside it is uh, as it should be. So, first of all, we have a throttle control, which is working fantastically, which is good. We have a dead man's handle, which is also working. Uh, drive system, ABC. which also is working. Just want to double check that when you put it on to choke, it is actually choking, which it is, so that's cool. So um, let's get the um, tools in place and we'll have this carb right straight off, I think, will be the first thing to do. Have a carb off and then we'll go from there. Right, got the tools in place, got the little Riley boy quite close to me as well. He wants to get involved today, which is cool. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, is it this one or right? No. Oh, no, other one. Not that one. Other long one. This one. Perfect. Uh -huh. Right, so we need to take the carburetor off first. Let's get a uh -huh. let's get a 10 mil socket, Riley. Do that one there. No, just this one. Just this one. Uh -huh. You can definitely help. And we're gonna literally just gonna put this on here first and undo that. Uh -huh. One. Uh -huh. You've got to do it gently though. Yeah, not quite, it's not quite as hard as that, but that'll do. Right, you need a magnet tray, Riley. Oh, why? No, here, look, one of these. Okay. It's a magnet tray, and it sticks stuff to it, so you don't lose <coughs> bits. So now I'm going to remove this um, air box. Now, this is actually broken oh, on the top, so you need to find a spare one of these. Um, but I should have them readily available. I'm going to set a forceps, please, Riley. Why? Scissor ones. Um, Scissors. Yeah, oh, lovely. Oh, and I'm going to clamp that off Cut. so we get no fuel come out. Oh, and a help. pair of um, uh, long nose snippers. Oh, help. Hang on, you want to help do everything today? Yeah. He's a bit. Head. He's a bit over top because he knows he's got a live stream to do in about about half an hour, five minutes. So he's a bit over the old T T T P O P T T T T T P O P. T T T T T T T T so this is that this actually says something as carb, so I don't know if that's the right carb for it or not. But we'll have a look. I can't even get that pipe like this to loosen off. I don't want to split it if I can help it. Let's get a screwdriver in there right away. I have two. And I just want one. Uh-huh. Just to try and bring that fuel hose back a touch. Just to get it moving. Oh, there it goes. Good, good. We've got a gasket to come off. Ow! 
screwdriver. Oh, okay, Kelly. Yeah. I've got one. And we, what we want to do now is we want to take the throttle linkage off. This has got some gaskets on here, perhaps it shouldn't have. I think someone's had a little go on this one. It could have been Jeb, maybe. We might have a, might have a little go at it, try and get it to run. So that now comes apart. Frock cable comes off. We've got a gasket on behind here. That all looks pretty good. And it says on here, Champion is what it says. It is actually the right carburetor for it. GGP ETC. Okay, so what we'll do is now we're going to get this carburetor onto the bench and we'll uh, dissect it, have a look at it, see what we can't do. But uh, I haven't even tried, to, I, I tried to pull it earlier and it wouldn't even run. It's got petrol in it and all that sort of good stuff. It wouldn't even fire up. So, um, But with it having some stuff sprayed down the throat, it is actually firing apparently. So we'll get onto the old bench either way and uh, have a carburetor apart and see what we can't find. Right, I've got the carburetor and uh, initially it's got a bit of an old rag. Doesn't have to be mega clean. Oh, sorry for knocking that. Doesn't be mega clean because uh, we're going to be taking it apart anyway. So, first things first, I'm going to get a 10 mil just to see what state the carburetor is inside. I'm guessing it's not going to be very good, is what I'm guessing, just off the top of my head. But I may be completely wrong. So, let's, uh, before I do that, I'm going to get a little tiny tub in. Just so I can try and collect any fuel that is in, in here. Oh my word. Crack that open. And let's see what we got. The fuel looks quite good. Bit of smeg on the bottom of there. There's a bowl. The bowl, yeah, it's got a bit of bad fuel in there. There's a main jet inside, which I want to take out. So this has got a main jet up inside here. I'm hoping it'll come out. Because if it doesn't, we've had it. And at the moment, I don't want to play ball. So I might get a slightly wider screwdriver in there. Uh, where's my card one? Oh, it's there. Let's see if we can't get it to come out. Yeah, I think it's going to come. I'm going to take the float off. And the needle's there as well, which is good. And we've got the, uh, there's a main jet there. And there's a tube inside here as well. So if you poke inside here, inside the throat, you'll see there's a little tiny brass bit sticking up. Give that a bit of a poke, and that should just drop out like that. And there comes a the tube. I know um, Conk was on about he couldn't get the tubes out of here and that hole there is plugged. I can see it from here. You've got congealed fuel on here but that hole there is plugged. Can't see any daylight for it at all. So that's no good and this is a main culprit but that is absolutely clean. However, it's not as clean as I would like, and there should be a slightly bigger hole in there, so I'm just going to rim that out very slightly. There's a little bit of metal filings in here as well. So apart from that, this carburetor is nearly taken apart. Just want to take this one out. Just want to measure it all the way in. One, two, three. About three and a half, something like that. So that one comes out as well. And then this one here, very gently with a screwdriver, just try and tease him up. Very, very gentle. You don't want to break it, it's only plastic. If you can't get it to come all the way up and get hold of it with a pair of long nose pliers and try and tease it with that. Just be very gentle with it because it's got O rings on here, which you don't want to damage. And there's no O rings in there, but it is quite dirty in there too. So that's got to come out. <coughs> What I'm going to do now is just literally going to um, give this carburetor a good clean throughout uh, for all the jets, 
I'm not going to ultra sight clean this one. I'm just going to use WD-40 and then I'll show you what to do with the jets. Right, I've given that um, carburetor a bit of a spray out, a bit of a clean out, and then I'm just going to reach for my filing tools. And these are just used from gap for gas propane torches and what have you, and I like. And just going to pick a, a size up. Now that goes through there with some ease. So go next size up. That goes through with some ease. Next size up should be that one there, I think, by the looks of it. That goes through with ease. So keep going up until you find the one that it just doesn't quite like. It should be this one. That's the one. It doesn't quite like that one. So I'm just going to try and encourage that one to go in. If it doesn't want to go, then drop it down a size. So it's going to be that kitty there, I think. I think it's this one. Just. And then literally start to take some material off. You haven't got to be super aggressive with it. It's got to be just so you take extra material off that perhaps you wouldn't normally. And now I'll give that a clean with some carb spray. And now you should be able to see that that is so much more clearer. A nice big hole in there now. So happy with that one. And then we're going to reach down for the tube. Now this is one that was plugged also. Yeah, come on, Riley boy. And find the one that fits in, in the hole in here. You. I think it's this one. I got a card. Cool. Put yeah. it down there for a minute, mate. We'll have that up on the live stream, shall we? And then just start to encourage all of these through the holes. Yeah. It's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit fiddly. Yeah, a bit fiddly, yeah. I know. That one's plugged. I know. Was. Next one. <laughs> then turn it over. And go on the other side. Oh, yeah. And you're just working to get all these little tiny holes clear. Oh. Then go up to the next set. Do all three. And turn it over and do the other three. Now what you can do is just put it straight in your ultrasonic cleaner. But I don't think that this carburetor is actually that dirty. I just think it, it was being starved. Just going to clean that through now, a bit of carb cleaner. Block the end off so it runs through all the holes. And that's now done. I'll put on a bit of clean tissue paper now because that's now cleaned. Yeah. I don't want to run the risk of putting anything else that's dirty in there. So that's now cleaned. That jet's now cleaned. You've got a little tiny one here just to clean up, and there's a little tiny hole just in there. So, exactly the same thing. Get your files, pick the right one. I think it's a little tiddly one on this one. Diddy. Tiddly, yeah. Or diddy. And run it through, and you want to be seeing that come through just the other side, which is plugged also. Some of these have a little metal gauze in there, so go a bit careful. You don't want to be running um, stuff in there if it's got a gauze in it. I can't even see it running, so I'm going to put that on the end of the air compressor as well, give it a good blow out of the air compressor. Okay, that's now been compressed out as well. I can feel the air coming through that now, lovely. I have also just cleaned up the holes on the carburetor, just blown them through with a bit of WD-40 and what have you, just through these ones, and you can see the gunk that's come out of these. So I'll give it a quick blow off of the air compressor also. Let's have a look to see what the needle and float are doing. There's a bit of gunk on that needle. So we'll take the needle off, a little tiny spring on there, don't lose that, and give the end of the needle a little wipe. That was actually white in colour, that was, it wasn't actually black. So we've got some gunk off of that. And then I'm just going to put that back in and make sure that the spring is on the bottom. Something like that. Okay, give that a bit of a wipe off and a clean off, and then we can start to reassemble this carburetor. Almost forgot the bowl will also need cleaning. So just put your finger over the, the hole at the back. 
put some carb spray in there. Not too much, because this has got a little tiny um, O-ring on it, and if that O-ring expands, then you'll be in a bit of trouble. I've actually hope the O-ring's actually on, on a carburetor, that's all right. Give that a good cling through. Try and bring that back to silver as best we can. It's already coming up lovely already. That isn't too shabby. Bit of a clean. So this lawnmower, I suspect I shall actually have it stripped down at some point and another respray. Look at the dirt coming out of that, out of that bowl. Right, that's clean. Okay. Put that bin, please, roller boy. Thank you. Quick sip of the old coffee. Right, we're gonna reassemble this carburetor now. It's had a good blow through. It's been cleaned up everywhere it needs to. Let's um, put the float on first. That goes inside here, the needle, and that runs quite well. Should have somewhere, somewhere, a little tiny pin. That goes into the carburetor. And now what you want to do is with a carburetor down, just blow through here, no air, lift the float up. And that's working. So we know, we know as long as there's fuel in the tank, we'll be getting fuel down through. Then we're gonna pick up the tube. The tube only goes in one way, the narrower part of the tube goes in first. That goes in there. And then the main jet goes on top. And goes in. Jet screwdriver, homemade one. It's been narrowed down to fit. Screw it down, not tight, tight, just well seated is all it needs. <coughs> and then this carburetor's gonna go on the, on the engine this way. So I want the, um, the flood bolt to be at the front, which is there. And then that 10 mil can then be done up. Now, I know that Top Conquer was saying that, you know, he's been having problems with some of the bowls, but literally, that's as quick as it should take. It shouldn't take no more than about five minutes to strip one of these down. Just got to find the little tiny um, black bit that fits into there, which I think is in my hand and the screw is there. And all that does is that just sits inside here and it sits up against a flat flange at the back. Push it down until it's well seated. Again, don't go over hard with it, it will go. And it sits down like so. And then that screw then goes into there, wind it all the way in, and then back out about three and a half turns. I can always adjust it if I need to, if the machine actually fires up. So let's get that in, <coughs> if it's going. All the way in. And then one, two, three and a half. Somewhere in there, that should be sufficient. And then um, that's a carburetor now cleaned and done. Let's get it fitted back to the machine and we'll see if we can't get this little baby to fire up. Right, so we're back on the machine. And very simply, this will go on this way. I just want to check that gasket because sometimes what happens with these gaskets that are put on the back is that they tend to balloon and it blocks the channels up, but that isn't too bad. It's not the right gasket for it, but uh, it will suffice. Uh, let's put the choke on first. It goes like so. Throttle cable, throttle linkage goes on. And then you've got a throttle spring, which is hiding. That also goes on. You can then check your choke. So currently that's currently set to choke, the flap is closed. Half throttle, full throttle and idle. So that's all working exactly how it should do. Yeah, happy with that. <coughs> Fuel pipe can go back on. Uh, 
like so. And then it's got a little tiny clip that backs that up. Undo the fuel. Pass that 10 mil spanner, Riley, please. Spanner. Good boy, yeah, pass it, Daddy. Thank you. Just want to crack this um, flooding bolt off this carburetor just to see if I can't. Oh. I don't want to do. That's a bit tight on there. I don't want to ruin that over and that's a thing. So I might have to just undo the, the bottom one instead. I was gonna do that thread up. Just want to bring some fuel down. To make sure we got some, yeah. which we have. Plenty of fuel coming down from there. So we are getting a feed, that we do know. That all done up. Pass me. I want a rag right here. Oh, yeah, pass it. White rag, please. Yes, please. No, white rag. Lovely. Thank you, my little assistant. Clean that up. Just a shame about this paintwork isn't exactly brilliant, but for a free mower, I'm not going to complain. Um, I may end up taking these stickers off and uh, just am right black in this one. Um, tend to sell quite well, does a black lawnmower. I quite like them. We've got a little gasket to go on, which have gone that way, like so. I believe. Let me double check. If you've got anyway, really, that's the way it come off, like that. But it should be flat at the bottom, which would be that way. All right, that goes onto there. I don't want the airbox cover. Air breather pipe to go on. Two 10 mils. I'm going to zip them up with the old impact on a low setting. And just click, click. Plenty for that. So we know we've got fuel in here. Um, I'm not even gonna check for spark yet. I was told that it does actually um, it does actually start. So what I'm looking for is this machine now to fire and to run. And hopefully it will. So I'll leave it running. I won't do no editing. So you'll see it live as I'm doing. I'm just gonna bring it back a touch. And put you up in the air, a little tiny smidge. And all I'm gonna do is just try and, try and start this lawnmower up. I don't know when it was last started. Um, I don't know when it last run properly. Um, I think I got it as it uh, in the condition it was in. I think I'm not quite sure. But let's see how we get on. There is fuel in now. I know there is. I checked it yesterday. Yeah, nice drop of fuel. Right, let's see what we get. Quick check of the old blade. That's on as it should be. Right, let's go for a fire up. Let's bring it round there. You're in shot. Just how you should be. And let's see what we get. On to choke. Dead man's handle back. A bit of compression, which is good. She's a runner. Fix it, Riley. All fixed. Yes, yeah, is it good? Do you hear it? What? So that lawnmower probably took best part of about five minutes just to get that carburetor cleaned, and uh, it's now all done. So next thing to do is um, 
I'll have a spark plug out, new spark plug, it'll have an oil change, it'll have a new air filter box here, or second hand, I've got a donor one, I've got plenty of spares, new air filter, I've got the cover for it, so there's the old air filter, which is, yeah, it's gone, that's no good for nothing. Um, I could try and fix something on there to make it stay on, maybe some self-tapping screws could go into there possibly, if I can't get a spare one, but I'll figure something out. Um, but apart from that, that's a runner. So I'll give it a bit of love and attention, and I might do another video of it um, it all done up. These stickers can come off. If they will, they should come off quite well. They do generally. Um, and I'm gonna give us a bit of a sand down, clean up, and write black, and try and get a new box for it. So super, super happy. Super happy. Okay, so there you go, everybody. Um, one little lawnmower. It's a Premier, uh, Champion Premier with a four and a half, I think, uh, Honda I wanna be on top. And all it needed was just a good carburetor clean on the main jets only, that's all it was. So, I've got to sort out, stop picking you. I've got to sort out the, um, oh. whoa! <laughs> I've got to sort out the back I flat. It does, whoa! I've got to sort out the back, <laughs> no more. I've got to sort whoa. out the back flap on the, um, um. on the mower because the box doesn't quite fit it. So I may be able to change it for a um, oh, well. slightly different box. Hope that's the plan. Uh, full service, engine to come off, and then deck to be sanded down, grinded down, resprayed, to be made to look absolutely spanking gorgeous and all that sort of good stuff. But that'd be another video. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video of how to clean a carburetor and how to get them running, because that's Mix exactly mower. how you do it on Mick Mix Mowers, you're quite right. So thank you very much for joining, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if it's your first time watching. Don't forget to hit the old bell back, give a notification as to tell you when we release another video. Thumbs up, thumbs down, up to you, and leave a comment, um, positive or negative, I don't really mind. Um, but thank you very much for watching this episode of Mixed Mowers. I hope we catch you all again very, very soon on the next one. But until then, people, don't forget, take it easy.